Have you ever seen something that looked like this? This is a special binomial. And when we have a binomial squared, as in this case, we can write it out as x plus 2 times x plus 2. The products of binomials like this one end up with a very special answer. First, let's multiply this out. We have x times x, which is x squared. We have x times 2, which is plus 2x. We have 2 times x, which is plus 2x. And we have 2 times 2, which is plus 4. So our final answer is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now you may not see any pattern yet, but let's look at another one of these. And after we've done 3 or 4, you might be able to see the pattern. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have x plus 3 squared. Let's write it out. x plus 3 times x plus 3. Again, we start with the first. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is plus 3x. Three, 3 times x is plus 3x. Three, 3 times 3 is plus 9. Now we have x squared. We combine like terms. Plus 6x plus 9. Do you see a pattern yet? Let's try one more. Here we have x plus 5 squared. Let's write it out. x plus 5 times x plus 5. Begin by multiplying the first terms. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is plus 5x. Here are our inners. Another plus 5x. 5 times 5 plus 25. Now we can write it out. x squared, combine like terms, plus 10x, plus 25. I can see that you're not sure you see a pattern. So let's look at what our special binomial products were, and then when we multiplied them, what our answers were. First, we had x plus 2 squared, and that became x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then we had x plus 3 squared, and that became x squared plus 6x plus 9. And finally, we had x plus 5 squared, and that was x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now you might start to see a pattern, and it has to do with whatever this number is becoming the middle term, and this relationship becoming the end term. We can also have patterns when we have the product of binomials using sums and differences. Take a look at this one. x times x is x squared. x times negative 6 is negative 6x. 6 times x is positive 6x. And 6 times a negative 6 is a negative 36. Now notice when you have a positive and a negative, as in this one with the sums and differences, this middle term is going to cancel itself out negative 6x plus a positive 6x is 0x. So this gets eliminated. And we can bring down the x squared minus 36. Here are some different patterns when you're dealing with the special products of polynomials.